Based in the magnificent Ardennes countryside, Spa hosted its first Grand Prix back in 1925. This historic track is loved by drivers and fans alike. So it's welcome to the Belgian Grand Prix. Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit, with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Norris, Daniel Ricciardo, and Perez, Stroll, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, and Pierre Gasly, Sonoda, Ocon, Carlos Sainz, and Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, George Russell, and Nikita Mazepin. Latifi and Sebastian Vettel starts from the back of the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race.
What a great race then, and what a magnificent victory here at the Belgium Grand Prix. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Who would you rank as your driver of the day? Sebastian Vettel would definitely be my first choice. He showed up a lot of the drivers out on the track today and didn't show any signs of slowing down. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend.